and welcome back to Tea in the Deep Blue Sea with me, Victoria. Thank you for joining me. If this is your first video, hi, hello, welcome. If this is not your first video, thank you for joining me back on my channel. I really appreciate your support. If you haven't already, please hit the thumbs up to give this video a like and remember to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. At the moment, I post a video every Sunday and also sometimes on a Wednesday. So if you're lucky, you get two videos a week. If you haven't already, please follow my Instagram. I will link it down in the description for some great photos, videos and behind the scenes content. So today's video, I'm going to be setting up a Chlorella vulgaris culture. Chlorella vulgaris is a species of freshwater algae. So what exactly is algae? What is phytoplankton? So phytoplankton is plankton consisting of microscopic plants such as algae. And there is various species of algae, various genuses and this all makes up phytoplankton. So the specific algae I'm going to be concentrating on today is called Chlorella vulgaris, which is a species of freshwater algae. So it grows in fresh water, not salt water. So such as tap water, tap water is fresh water. Phytoplankton are marine microscopic algae. There are many different species, both freshwater and marine. Algae is at the bottom of the food chain, so it supports life in the oceans, in lakes, in rivers, everywhere. All of the water, algae is the bottom of the food chain and it supports life all the way up to great sharks. Zooplankton, which is microscopic animals, they feed on the phytoplankton. They are then eaten by small fish and crustaceans, which are then eaten by larger fish or small sharks. And they're then eaten by apex predators. So all the way up the food chain, algae is what supports life. Algae is vital for life. Algae is so fascinating and so interesting and it is really important. So different algae looks different under a microscope. You've got spirulina, which looks like a little spiral, looks like little snakes. And today's one is chlorella, which looks like small, tiny little round, very green circles under the microscope. So different algae can be fed to different species. So you've got things like Nanochloropsis, which can be fed to corals and brine shrimp. It's a marine algae, so it grows in salt water, like the salinity of the ocean. And you've got freshwater species, like today's, that can support freshwater algae feeders. Chlorella is a single-celled green algae, and under the microscope, as I said, it looks like little green circles. It's photosynthetic, however, for the first few weeks it requires quite dim light, and then after that it's onto brighter light, but you never want to put it in direct sunlight. The ideal temp for Corella is around 25 degrees. So a heating mat is highly recommended and helpful, although if you don't have access to a heating mat, and this is gonna be a low-tech video, that's absolutely fine. Put it in somewhere where it's gonna be warm, where it's not gonna receive the direct sunlight and dim light for a few weeks, so somewhere Mine's been kept in my bedroom, which has got a nice heat supply and it is quite dim light in there. And in a few weeks, what I'm going to do, I'm going to move it where it can get a little bit more light. So that is chlorella. One important thing to remember with a chlorella culture, the chlorella will sink to the bottom of your culture jar. So just make sure you give it a shape or just invert it a few times just to make sure it stays within the water column. So today's video, I'm going to set up the culture and I'm going to do it really simply with very minimal tech and show you how to do it. It's really, really quick and easy and really simple to do. So I hope you enjoy the video and learn about Corella. Thank you very much for watching. Enjoy. Cheers. My mug today is from Ellie's Bug Babies. If you haven't already subscribed to her channel, please go and give it, give it a like, give it a subscribe, watch some of her videos. They're really great, really interesting. Another brilliant channel that I highly, highly recommend you check out and I will leave her link down in the description for you. So I have everything here that I need to start my chlorella culture. I have washed my hands and I have gloves on so I don't contaminate the culture. I have this really handy culturing manual that is from Algae Research and Supply in the US. And it has about different types of algae. It has images of them under the microscope and what their key features are. So today we're going to be culturing chlorella vulgaris, which is a single celled green algae and it is a freshwater species. So what we're going to do, we're going to use tap water. Because this is going to be used to feed tanks, I don't want to use 
standard tap water that can have any contaminants in. So we are going to treat the tap water with standard tap water conditioner. So I have a jug here of 500 ml of tap water. There's two different tap conditioners that I tend to use. You've got the Aquacare tap water conditioner and also the API tap water conditioner that I have covered with labels. So they're quite concentrated, so that's why I'm making up a much larger volume of water than I actually need. Because what I tend to do is make up a litre, half a litre, and then just use that, save it and use it as I need. So I'm going to use the Aquacare tap water conditioner today. And it is one capful, which is 5 mil per 20 litres of water. So we only need a tiny, tiny, tiny amount. I'm just going to open that up. I have a one mil syringe here. And we're going to use, I think it's about 0.01 I usually use. I'm just going to pop the syringe into the bottle. Draw it up. Just make sure there's no air bubbles in it. And that's just a handy tip for getting the air bubbles out. And squeeze that into there. Just going to pull the syringe back and use that as a handy tool for mixing. So we have our tap water ready. It's going to move that to the side. So we've got here the little cultures in the little vials so as you can see it is chlorella vulgaris and i have two of these right here so i'm going to do i've got a culture flask here so i'm starting off a smaller culture and i can upgrade it to bigger containers as i go along so i'm just going to unscrew the lid like so and just pop off the top and pour that in if it wants to come out like so and I'm just going to go ahead pop the second one and also empty the vial into the container sometimes these are a bit tricky to come out so you do need to bang them around a little bit like so. So what we're going to do now is just top that up with the tap water. Like so. One last thing you need to add is the growth nutrient. I'm just going to go and grab that out of the fridge and I'll be right back. So this is my phytoplankton nutrient from Reef Phyto, where I get most of my culturing stuff from. So you add 3 ml per 2 litres of water, and we're doing a really small culture, so we only need to add probably about 1 ml will be fine, because you can, on your first culture, add 6 ml. So we're going to add 1 ml, and having too much won't matter too much. As you can see, it's covered in stickers, and this gets stored in the fridge, and it's based on the Gouillard F2 medium. Whether that's pronounced right, I don't quite know. So we've got a fresh syringe. Just going to pull up, up in and draw up one mil and pop that directly into the culture flask. And that will go back in the fridge. Just going to put the lid on, screw it on as so, and just give it a little bit of shake that will help with the aeration. So it is photosynthetic, but it wants dim light for the first few weeks. So I'm going to put it in the bedroom where there is some light, but most of the day it's quite dim light in there. So that is how to set up a basic chlorella culture. It does need to be aerated, but what you can do is just shake it up like so to aerate. So that's how to start a very basic culture with no technology, nothing, just basic supplies. So here you go, this is the chlorella culture. So that was how to culture chlorella. I hope you've enjoyed the video and learned something. If you've got any questions at all about algae or chlorella, 
or anything you have seen in this video, please let me know down below and I'll be happy to answer your questions. Any specific video requests, also let me know down below and I will see what I can do. Thank you very much for watching. I highly appreciate your support. Please hit that like and subscribe button and tap the bell for notifications. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Cheers.